FASD stands for Fetal Alcohol Spectrum Disorder. Fetal Alcohol Spectrum Disorder. Fetal Alcohol Spectrum Disorder. Fetal Alcohol Spectrum Disorder. FASD is Fetal Alcohol Spectrum Disorder. Prenatal alcohol exposure can affect an individual's sensory processing, their cognitive functioning, behavior, and physical development. As a result, individuals with FASD can be easily misunderstood. For example, some of the behaviors can be that they don't always act their age, so your child might be 18 years old, but sometimes you're seeing the behavioral characteristics of somebody who is 10, 11, or 12, or sometimes younger. So if you teach them a rule at home and they go to school, they may not be aware that the rule still exists. The um, inability to learn from consequences. So um, I often talk about how we understand that B always follows A. They don't understand, so they do it over and over and over and over again. They forget parts of stories so that when they're talking to you, it sounds like they're making it all up, but really they're just filling in the blanks in their memories. An individual with FASD might be really overwhelmed by bright lights or find background noise very distracting. Uh, they take things really literally, like they don't understand sarcasm. They really have a hard time with money, with, with numbers in general, time, and uh, anything to do that's sort of regulated. Some folks with FASD, uh, they sometimes get stuck on stuff, and it's hard for them to move on to something else. They don't always understand that, that things belong to other people unless it's labeled or told to them, so it often looks like they're stealing things. Um, people that are living with fetal alcohol spectrum disorder um, are very impulsive in terms of they see it, they want it. So a lot of people get hung up on the facial characteristics of someone living with FASD, but not all people living with FASD actually have those facial characteristics. It is important to remember that behavior is a way of communication. If we understand why an individual with FASD is behaving a certain way, we can understand how they're experiencing their disability and how best we can support them. You support someone who is living with FASD by getting to know them, getting to know their strengths, getting to know their weaknesses. A lot of one-on-one -on -one support. Being consistent with people with FASD is very important. Uh, person first language is huge, uh, putting them before their disability. Just understanding that just because they aren't in a wheelchair or because they don't have a cane doesn't mean that they don't have a disability. Routine is really, really important. You change the routine and um, they find it difficult. One thing uh, we can all do is, is remember that people with FASD are people first and we need to ask them how they best want to be supported. Involve the community and my belief. Um, I believe that it takes a community to raise a child and even more so with a child with an FASD. And I think with education and an understanding of the disability, it will get easier to support them. Here in Saskatchewan we have the FASD support network. I encourage everyone to call it. Hashtag educate yourself. 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 <laughs>